Hey guys, this is TMY and welcome to a tutorial where I explain what a sampler is and how to use the sampler plugin Simpler within Ableton. This right here is a university project which I thought could be useful if any of you are new to production and want to know the basics of sampling within a door like Ableton. So to start, what is a sample? A sample is defined as an audio file which already exists, basically any audio which has been recorded or manipulated in any way. Samples can come from anywhere, splice, vinyls, CDs, your nan's garden, anywhere. So why use a sample? Let's take drums for an example. Do you really want to synthesize or play your own made drums every time you want to produce? No. So, taking a sample and then editing it can be a very effective and quick way to create an entirely new and unique sound. Let's start by opening Simpler and let's drag in a sample. As you can see, Simpler comes with three different modes Classic, one shot and slice. The classic mode allows you to loop the sample. The one shot mode allows you to play the sample once when pressing play. The slice mode allows you to separate the sample into different mini samples, which can be very useful and fun to play with. I'm going to put a sample into the simpler and play it with my MIDI keyboard. Down here we have some controls which can alter the sound. We have gain which controls the volume of the sample. Start controls at which point we start the sample. Loop is currently disabled. We can tighten it on by switching from snap to loop here. This makes it so if you hold down the note, it will continue playing. The length option lets you change how much of the sample is played before the loop starts again. The fade setting alters the volume between the end and start of the loop making it feel more natural between each loop. First of all, we are going to take a kick I created from my sample pack, a basic kick, to drag it into the sampler. We will put the start of the loop as somewhere in the middle and the end before the kick ends. We will increase fade to its maximum and finally we will play the same note on my MIDI keyboard. As you can see, we have made a synth. By making the sound repeat so quickly, it creates a pitch. In the one-shot mode, you can change between trigger and gate. Trigger will allow the sample to play just by pressing the key once. The gate will play the sample as long as the key is being pressed. They can be used as a simpler way to play the full sample and change the pitch using the input if you don't want to edit the sound. The slice mode allows you to chop the sample into different sections depending on the parameters you choose. You can slice by transient, beat, region or you can do it manually. 
You can change the sensitivity when slicing by transient. The higher, the less of a transient it will detect. Using the slice mode, you can then choose which sections of the sample you can have in your full sample. We are going to use another sample I created within my sample pack called You Don't. You don't have to tell me twice. Currently, it doesn't sound too nice if I try to make a melody out of this. In the slice mode, I'm going to change the start of the sample to add the first transient. Within the classic mode, I am then going to reduce the length. Here we have a nice sounding vocal sample. You can change the type of filter here between high pass filter, low pass filter, band pass filter and more. You can also change the frequency of the filter here, the resonance and the drive. You can also change the algorithm of the filter. You can change the attack, decay, sustain and release of the envelope here. If you go into the controls tab, you can find the LFO. You can use the LFO to modulate the volume, pitch, filter and panning. You can change the wave here, between sine, square wave, triangle, sawtooth and random. You can also change the frequency of the LFO in terms of how many times a second or in terms of how many beats in the context of the tempo of the Ableton project. First of all, getting our synth back, we need to put a low pass filter on it, making it decrease the amount of harmonics, making it a far cleaner sound. Then we're going to put a sine wave LFO on the filter with the frequency at one eighth of a beat. We are then going to increase the release of the envelope and in turn we will have this sound. With the filter envelope, you can change the attack, which is how long it takes for the filter to get to its desired frequency from 0 Hz. The decay is how long it takes to get from the attack frequency to the sustained frequency, which is the desired percentage of the attack frequency. We have already looked at this envelope, however, in this control section, there are a lot more parameters for us to look at. Look of this envelope, so that it loops the attack and decay, where the rates can change in the beat mode, sync mode and trigger mode, where the whole envelope is played through one cycle, if the note is pressed once. You can change the panning and spread of the sample through the envelope here too.
With the pitch envelope, you can modulate the pitch of the sample. You can change the amount the pitch changes in semitones. The attack will be how long it takes to go from the normal pitch to the specified amount. The decay is how long it takes to go to the sustained pitch. The release is how long it carries on when you let go, and how much the pitch goes down by. And that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.